Hey everyone, this is Nate Nate. I'm going to talk to you about the Hetzel Lynx crampon today. And this is one of the most versatile crampons on the market. And it comes in at about 250 so it's, it's a reasonable price for a crampon as well. And uh, got them all nicely folded up. They do pack up, so they uh, slide in and out like that. Super adjustable. You can see they even have half marks for the uh, indents right there. And it's really easy to adjust. I'm not gonna slide them because I have them adjusted right now. And But all you do is lift up this tiny little tab here and slide them in and out. Easy to adjust. The backs don't have a, a little tightening mechanism. They're just the, the plastic piece. But with how adjustable the rest of it is, it, it doesn't really matter. You also have three different spaces to put this back heel up, cuff, and then you have three for the toe as well. So why people like the Lynx so much? Why I like the Lynx so much? It allow it can be a mono or a dual point. So I have it in the mono point right now. Um, I, I end up liking that better, but I, I started with a dual point and the dual point's really nice too. It gives you a little more stability. This gives you a little more finesse and uh, depending on what you're doing, it's really great. So I can show you, that's the integrated part right there and how you can adjust the, uh, the toes. And I will show you, I'll give you a demonstration on that right now. I'm gonna have to adjust the camera though. So bear with me. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and do the old transition. It's pretty simple to do, not a lot of tools. So I do bring a multi-tool as well. It makes this process a lot easier. Either that or you need some kind of uh, socket. So there's the multi-tool. Here's our little bag of tricks that comes with the links. So you've got an Allen wrench right here. And then you've got this little spacer that you'll need as well. And then, uh, of course, the extra point. Another thing you can do with these while I'm talking about this, uh, so you have two different spots you can adjust the points depending on what you're doing. So you can have them stick out further or in closer depending on what works for you. And it's, it's worth just trying those out. Uh, another, uh, uh, while we're talking about the points, another thing you can see with these points is uh, they're not rounded at all. So they're very angular, which is great if you're just kicking in, but, uh, and, and they're really sharp for that. So they get really great purchase. And um, yeah, that's what you get with the more angular. And they're really easy to sharpen because of that. So these have, I haven't had these points on as much as the other points, so I've been saving them, but they're really easy to sharpen uh, and maintain. Okay, so for the modification, or to uh, switch them over, you need to take your, your pliers here and hold it, there's a little tiny nut right there that you have to hold and then there's an allen wrench on that side so that's all it is is uh, adjusting these two and it can even be done with cold hands trust me my hands are pretty cold right now so you just take this allen wrench don't lose any of this if you're doing it in the snow or ice be really careful use the uh, crampon bag to hold them and then you take out this uh, bolt right here, like that. And then, now it's everything's free, so I can just show you how that works. This just slides in and out, and you just slide it, and then it comes right out. So now we have a no point, but let's go ahead and switch it to the old mono point. And all you need to do there is you, uh, you pull this down, and, oh, here, there we go, there is in frame. So you pull this, this little uh, rubber part out, you slide, there's a small metal piece here, you slide that over, and now I can put the dual point in, like that. So now it's locked in. Uh, there we go. Now it's looking good, nice and locked in. And then you actually have to remove this other metal grommet here. There's two of them, but in order to get the spacing right, you actually have to pull that one out. So I'm gonna use the, since I've got it, I'm gonna use the multi-tool for this just to make my life a little easier with my cold hands. And go ahead and push this down, and then pull out, there we go, that metal piece. 
and it's slightly lar slightly longer than this metal piece right here. You put that metal piece in. There we have it. All right, and then those create the new gap, the new gap placements for the other point. And here's that other point sliding in. Really simple. There's a, a little groove for it and everything. So it's straightforward. And then slide it back and lock it. So you can do you can do like a modification where you have one point back and one point forward like this. Or anyway, you can play with it because it's so adjustable. Um, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna have them both set back as such and then I'm just gonna lock it into place just to show you all before my camera dies it is cold so ironically my camera died immediately as I, I uh, spoke about it so anyway here we have the links again um, the points fell out so I'm just gonna do it again to, to show you um, again here we have the little metal grommets and I'll just show you what this looks like putting the uh, teeth in just like that really easy Here's the other tooth. I don't even have to look. And there we go. Okay, uh, then it's as simple as uh, putting the bolt back in and the nut back in. So, got my little bag. And again, be careful when you're doing this in the snow. Yeah, if you drop that little bolt or that little nut, you're in trouble. It's gonna be hard to find. So, anyway, you just feed, let me show you all. You just feed this uh, bolt right through here, as such. Okay, and then take your Allen wrench that comes with it, and you take this little, uh, get the bolt start, or the nut started. Oh, that's the hardest part, apparently. There we go. Getting it threaded right now. Like that, nice and threaded on. And you do need some kind of multi-tool pliers uh, or some kind of socket to make it easier. I'm not sure why they didn't they didn't come with that, but just just so you're aware, make sure you have that. And I'll turn around so you can see what I'm doing. Just pinch the uh, pinch that the nut and crank it on. It's that simple. All right, so anyway, there you have it. There's the links. Now it's a dual point. Uh, it's really cool how you can uh, do the modular like that. It, it makes them a very versatile crampon. And when you have the dual point, it makes it a lot more of a stable platform for, for just straight ice. Um, you can actually, here, there's the two points and there's the uh, auxiliary kind of spurs coming out and I'll give you the side view. So you do have, th this is what the, the points recessed uh, to the second position. So you can also, there's another, uh, another set of holes so you can pull these out and they stick out maybe another four centimeter or four millimeters, maybe five millimeters from this position. Uh, if you're doing, maybe that would be, I think, better for mixed because it gives you a little bit longer point. When you're doing ice, having them a little bit shorter so you can get these two auxiliary points in and give you a more stable platform is more ideal. But even still, you gotta go pretty far with these to get these two uh, auxiliary um, points in for the platform. But again, these are really nice crampons. They're really uh, versatile and it allows you to do all kinds of different things versus uh, a standard crampon that's totally fixed. And I've never had any problem with the stability and the structure of these. The design, how it's, how it's set up, is really stable, really strong, and I don't think it would ever really be an issue with wear and tear or anything like that on these points. And another thing it allows is if you ever wear out these points fully, it would take a lot, but it, it's possible. You can just buy the points on their own on their website on Petzl's website, and then you don't have to buy a whole new crampon. You can actually just get these get these on their own. So anyway, great crampon, very versatile. They say they're, it's the ver most versatile on the market. They are, they're really cool. Uh, and I would say 
unless you're really specifically going for something, that these are a great crampon for people getting into the sport of ice climbing or for mountaineering. Um, they are a little heavier, but they're nice and durable, full, fully steel. And again, they pack really nicely because they have this sliding mechanism. So overall, great crampon. I would definitely suggest them for anyone out there. Thanks.